While graphics cards may be a sensitive subject these days, ASRock has once again submitted its custom AMD Radeon RX 6600 XT and RX 6600 graphics cards to the EEC, but this time they've updated the memory specifications. The graphics cards are custom variants from ASRock that are listed over at EEC, or the Eurasian Economic Commission. Now, ASRock seems to have been updating the specs list for a while now, and the company first submitted its custom RX 6600 XT graphics cards with 12 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory, and also listed the RX 6700 non-XT with 6 gigabytes of VRAM. However, the latest reports reveal that the Radeon RX 6700 non-XT could end up with the same 12 gigabytes of GDDR6 VRAM as the Radeon RX 6700 XT, and we can also see that the Radeon RX 6600 XT has also received a specification update. Now that 12 gig on the 6700 non-XT is a good move, which leaves way for a very interesting one here in a second. And as per the latest listing by ASRock, the AMD Radeon RX 6600 XT and the RX 6600 X non-XT graphics card will feature an 8 gigabyte GDDR6 memory capacity running along a 128-bit bus interface. Now, that is quite a lot of memory for such a small bus interface, but we have seen AMD is handling memory bandwidth quite well with its new Infinity Cache design on the RDNA 2 GPUs. As for the listing, we have the following graphics cards submitted by ASRock. The RX 6600 XT Phantom Gaming D, the 6600 XT Challenger DOC, the 6600 XT Challenger 1, the 6600 Challenger DOC, the 6600 Challenger 1, and that's, well, that's it. But the Radeon RX 6600 series graphics cards will be based on the AMD Navi 23 GPU core and is expected to feature 32 compute units or 2048 stream processors along with 32 ray accelerator cores. Now, the GPU will also be packed with 64 megabytes of Infinity Cache, which will help it boost its bandwidth for a huge margin gain over a traditional 128-bit bus. As far as memory, we are looking at up to 8 gigabytes of GDDR6 capacity that will operate across a 120-bit bus interface and offer pin speeds up to 16 gigabits per second. This should bring the total bandwidth of around 256 gigabytes per second. As for products, once again, nothing is mentioned except for the fact that the Navi 23 GPU-based Radeon RX 6600 series, referring to the 6600 XT, will be positioned as a premium 1080p gaming solution, offering what should be faster performance, or at least on par, with the RTX 3060. As for pricing, we expect it to fall right around that $299 US tag for the Navi 23 lineup if AMD wants it to succeed especially if it's a 1080p card that's going up against the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060, which is already an MSRP of 329 and don't get me started about street pricing. Now, one thing I can say about these smaller chips, especially like Navi 23 being as small as it is, and if there's an 8 gigabyte and a 4 gigabyte model, even with the exception of Ethereum Classic recently gaining a bit of traction, well, these may be a lot more readily available in sheer capacity. So, love to hear your thoughts on that one down in the comments section below. And I want to thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you like what you've seen here and you like getting news daily, make sure you hit that subscribe button down there in the corner. And if you've missed out on news in the past and you want to catch those, check out one of these videos over here.